There's no doubt about it. 2011 was the year of homicides in Edmonton. The city is the murder capital of Canada this year and was nicknamed Deadmonton when it surpassed its previous record of 39 killings in 2005. With no common pattern, single cause or factor to the slayings, Edmonton Police Chief Rod Connect is keeping his fingers crossed this year was just an anomaly. The violence began just three hours into the new year when 23-year-old Mohamed Jama was gunned down at the Paprius restaurant and lounge. Police found him dead on the floor of the lobby while people were still inside the bar and the killer has yet to be found. Following Jama's death, there were three more slayings in January, setting a trend for the rest of the year of about four murders per month. But even as the death toll rose, Police maintain Edmonton was safe, since most of the killings involved those who led a high-risk lifestyle. Among the handful who didn't live a high-risk lifestyle were Perry Kit Wong and his common-law wife, Eloise Fendelet, who were reported missing when they failed to return to their dental business after Christmas. The seniors' bodies were found in April in a field on the outskirts of Edmonton, and the killer is still on the loose. The city's 45th murder was recorded on December 13th, when 17-year-old Russell Hader was gunned down in a park in Lewis Estates. Two teens have been charged in connection to his death. Reporting for Sun News, I'm Pamela Roth.